Hello, my name is Aaron Hansen. I am one of the two hosts of Game Grumps. The other being uh, Thomas? Is his name Thomas? I don't know, he seems like an asshole. Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! <laughs> Boy, you knew you had to change. Okay. All right, welcome back to Game Grumps, everybody. Hello, hello there. <laughs> the re the reason um we're talking about I I re on Instagram I uploaded some Instagram stories where I did a bunch of characters with like uh, warped faces, and the the one we were laughing about was the the like the pinheaded one, <laughs> where he's like, "Boy, you need an attitude change." <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I that guy really exists. His name is oh man, I can't I don't want to say his name on the show, but. He was a- he was a volunteer firefighter in Lorida, Florida. Really? And, and he- we broke down on the side of the road and he stopped. And he was very nice, by oh, the way. Oh, you've told me about yeah, that guy. Yeah, but he was, just, he was just like, Oh, you know, we're just a volunteer firefighter here, but... You know, we don't have water or anything, but we can go and we can help out, you know, if they- If they need comfort in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What a sweet man. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. well, where do we? Do? Oh, we killed the dragon. Yeah, the we just beat dragon. the dragon boy. Okay, the dragon. The dragon. What? <laughs> so, what's next, Aaron? Well, next, um, I have the double claw shots now. So there's a couple things I can do with those. Cool. And the main one is, do you remember the like carnival game where the guys like go go do do, and then there were groupies at the end? Yes. Okay, I can do that again. Great. And I can do it like much faster now because I have double claw shots. Excellent. Um, so I'm gonna go do, go do that. Go for it. And then I get a bunch of arrows. I've been told by an experienced toilet princess player <gasps> that, uh, there should only be about five more episodes of this if we're going at our current pace and doing, like, 45-minute episodes. I don't believe that. Well, that's what he said, and he's an experienced gamer. So, if it goes to six or seven episodes remaining, you know officially, you suck. Yeah. Put on them heavy boots, boy. Wait, how the hell do I get out of here? Maybe. This thing, like, Maybe. was supposed to launch me, right? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, gosh, dang it. It brought me back to the start of the dang temple. Is that- that's not what you wanted. Well... I need to get out of here. Is it the... There's a treasure chest. Hold on. Where's the frickin'... Where's the frickin' map? Where's the entrance? That's there, the entrance. There are two chests by your feet. Oh, but wait, really? Yeah, under the water. Whoa, dude! You just swam by him. Whoop! Pff, pff, pff. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. If I stand up straight, blood doesn't circulate. It takes more yeah. effort for blood to circulate through my veins, and I can't hold my breath as long. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. But if I lay on my back in the water, Suck then I can get roll. Well, I don't know. I don't feel like that buys you as much time no, it as doesn't. it does above ground. No. But at least I can hold my breath oh. infinitely when I'm opening a chest. Water bombs. Who needs them, brah? I don't know. Take off them boots. Get the book and put you breathe. Okay. God, there's something nice about not breathing. I don't know if that's something you should say out loud. <laughs> hey, boy, you need an attitude change. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to think of more stuff for that guy to say. Yeah. I feel like he just says seven things and says them ad nauseum. Oh, yeah. You know, I went down to the Costco yesterday, just found a, found a tube, put, put it in my mouth so I could eat food faster. Mmm. Just pour it in with a funnel. I can show you the world. How the hell do I get out of here? The walkthrough doesn't say anything about it. Shining, shimmering wiener. Isn't there- oh, the ucko. I can use the ucko. The whole wiener. I don't don't you dare close your mouth. Anymore. What? I don't have her anymore. I don't have the ucko anymore. You don't- what? I don't have the ucko anymore. Why not? What happened to her? Because, I don't know, she left. Oh, she flew away, free to, free to pursue a life of religious fulfillment. <sighs> Wait a second, a am I a dumbass? Yeah, probably. Back at Lake Hillia. No, it. 
Do we need to pause the episode yeah, yeah. 30 seconds into the episode? Dude, I feel like an asshole, but like, I thought it would just warp me out, so... Alright, <laughs> see you soon, everyone! Yeah. It's intermission time. I just had a I just had a claw shot into it. Wow. I guess I forgot that there was the functionality of that. Okay. Well, that was officially the shortest uh cut <laughs> in Game Grumps history. Yeah. Um God, I feel like such a dingus. Post in the comments how much of a dingus I am. No. Yes, I'm enabling you. This is the one time I'm enabling you to make fun of me, so get your rocks off right now. But dingus is a compliment. That's not. So you so you you have to phrase it. You have to frame it in the sense that, like, like, oh, that Aaron, he's such an awesome dingus. You know what I mean? Oh, well, that's very po sweet, Dan. Positive spins. That's very sweet, but yeah. that's not what I was going for. Oh, okay. I was saying they could actually... ...insult me, but you know what, you're always better. Okay. I'm just gonna commit to that. So, if you already wrote a comment that was, like, negative dingus, then I'll just know that you did it before Dan said the thing. Yeah. Or you're really some kind of dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a... That's a good album name. Some, Some kind, kind of dick. dick. I believe it's a Metallica album. <laughs> yeah. I might be thinking of some kind of monster. Yeah, but I, I think but you I are. But I believe yeah. it was some kind of dick. Yeah, probably right. Probably what, right on that one. What is what is next on the docket? Uh, so like I said, I was gonna go um, uh, to the claw the claw shot game. Yes, you did say that. I'm to get sorry. Quivers. Now I now I recall. I was gonna go to the claw shot game and get some quivers. <laughs> When you say quivers in that voice, it sounds racist. Qui- Like these damn quivers. Get these quivers out of here. <laughs> Lowering the property value of my ha my bubble home. Uh, here- here comes one right now. Don't touch me, quiver! <laughs> <laughs> Two letters. I don't want your dirty quiver letter. Mm. B.S. Those better be the letters. Is quiver the new spinnaker? Yeah. Which, by the way, I went back to, uh, Digital Press Games in Springfield, New Jersey, and I bought, uh, a Commodore 64 game made by Spinnaker. Wow. And for completely forgetting that that's where Spinnaker came from in the first place. It was, like, the name of a, a company that made Commodore 64 games. What game were we playing? I think we must have just been talking about them, because we never- we very rarely played Commodore 64 stuff, because we couldn't get them to run. Remember when we played the, the, uh, the Winter Games Olympic game? And we got the guy to go down the ski slope one time and then he just laid there? And we talked for like 45 minutes? <laughs> that was super fun. I do remember that. That was, that was actually a really fun uh, episode. That was classic. You can't have it back. Yeah, can't get that from here. Alright, now I'm in the claw shot game and I'm gonna talk to Mr. Boy. Outstanding. His arms are out wide. Not yet. I waited you good there it goes. <laughs> Dare you try it? I'll do it. Many thanks. The game will begin once you enter the cage. Are you ready? Then away we go. Are you at the ready? Oh. That's what it's all about. Yeah, he's like, uh, he'll never be able to get this because there's no ground. But guess what? Yeah. I've got double the double de doo claw shots. This is terrible. Yeah, you're doing I've already badly. messed up. You're doing very badly. This is really terrible for me. Yeah, that was two. Oh my goodness, this is so difficult. Uh, oh boy. How the H am I supposed to H and do this? You might, you might be able to. You think so? I well, don't know. you can get three there. Oh boy. There's a red cluster. I'm not doing this in any particular order, and I feel like that's working against me. I mean, I mean, you've got to basically try to get two on every shot. Yeah. There's three in one shot. Oh, just two. Okay. <laughs> Guess I failed. Guess I'll uh, write home about how my dad made a failure of a son. <laughs> <laughs> You'll write home about that? Yeah. He's Your dad's probably the last one that wants to hear about it. Oh. No, go for the- alright. No, now I'm going back up. Yeah, okay. No, no, I was I was saying go for the cluster. There's a big cluster. You could get like, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, they like that. Yeah, that's what they're all about, that man. I was, was hot for them. Oh, I'm not gonna make this. I have ten seconds left. I still have to get like five thousand of them. There's yeah. gotta be like points I gotta hit. You know what I mean? Like right there, and then I can. 
You fucked up! <laughs> hey, you shut your mouth! <laughs> you shut up! And just pull out your sword. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> shit! I didn't realize you were the hero of time! Alright. Alright, I'm gonna start at the top. Okay. Work my way down. Or start at the bottom and work my way up. Yeah, I mean, those are your two choices. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, so hot. This right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am so many. Personally moist, dude. Yes, good. yes. Oh, wow, dude. Uh, oh shit, I need to hurry. Go, go. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Stop. Stop farting around. You're hurting me. <laughs> You're hurting me. No, yeah. no, to the left. To the left. Oh, yeah, those that cluster. Oh, word. I don't know why I didn't see that. I was too fixated on... Oh, come on. Really gonna do that to me? Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. You're doing very well. Yeah. <laughs> Blue. Skidoo. Oh, this is terrible. No, you're, you're doing very well. Oh, really? Stay strong. Um, okay. Blue. And Keep going. And there's two reds up there. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Ten seconds. Uh. Oh man, there's way too many. You could have done it. <sighs> no, nope, I messed that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, so close. Ugh. Oh, hunk. All right, I'll you try fucked it again. up. <laughs> yeah, jeez. All right, this time this is the I one. got it. So easy. And go. Okay, this is the this is how to start right here. Just and you turn around and then there it is right there. It's a boom. There's the vantage. Yes. That's my advantage. You know what I'm saying? Ah! <laughs> you. Oh yes, this is so hot. Yes. This is making me moist. I'm horny as heck. Oh, that, I thought there was more than that. Um, okay, okay, okay. Aim in the center of that triangle cluster. What are you talking about? I was gonna get this. Oh, yes. Now that's... Spicy! Yes! They're... Oh, they're really... Cheering for me. Oh, boy, they're really cheering for me! <laughs> ah, jeez! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Oh, snap. All right. Oh, that was just two. And then blue. Oh, yes. Oh, there it is. Gag! Oh, I'm making excellent time. All right. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> I can congratulate myself. Yes, yes. Is that it? Is that it, queen? Yeah! So You fucked up. <laughs> what the? You did it. Oh, what a magnificent day this is! The debut of a superstar. Let Hazaz and Akame, whatever. Fuck you for succeeding! <laughs> I hate you! The Giant Quiver! Mm. Giant Quiver. <laughs> That's one Giant Quiver. Well, that, well, yes, I truly have claimed what you saw, so you're likely all through, huh? Many thanks for playing, good sir. Don't come again. Damn. Ah, oh, alright, I did it. Yes. Now it's time So to many do. arrows. Everybody always saying like, you gotta do the mini games. Well, hack it. I'll do the mini games. You stay away from me. <laughs> you don't follow me, you fools. <laughs> You're not of age. Stay you, away. You. That includes you, sweet pupper. <laughs> bar bar bar. <laughs> Am I your friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nana. Can we pause for one second? Yeah. I'm sorry to request that again. Okay. Okay. Thank you. A little bit of penis is what I need. <laughs> Welcome back to oh. Game Grumps. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Are we back? We're back. We're back. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. I just needed to fuel up. I've had a long day. With G Fuel? <laughs> the most sponsored drink of all time in the gaming sphere? Is, it, is that a real thing? No. Yeah. I've never heard of G Fuel in my life. Well, I guess you don't watch Dr. Disrespect or PewDiePie. <laughs> I don't. I'm sure they're nice guys. Oh my god. Um. And you call yourself a YouTuber. Mm, 
I don't even really do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Mm. Mm, not me. I'm just kind of some guy. Oh, I'm a boy again. Oh, oh, here is... Here's where we put together the mirror shield and whatnot. We've got one, two, three mirror pieces. And all the pieces there. Ooh. And we're breaking the chains of love and the whatnot. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, was that the sound of it falling? Yes. <laughs> I tried to time it. Ooh, beautiful. Pink Floyd, one night only. It's kind of like Skyward Sword with like the gear. Yeah. The gear portal, you know. Some call our realm a world of shadows, but that makes it sound unpleasant. It is, really. Shadows is the place where all the jerking off can take place. <laughs> the twilight there holds a serene beauty. You've seen it yourself as the sun sets on this world. <sighs> Bathed in that light, all people were pure and gentle. Wow. Up here. But it's again, in the shadows, they're assholes. But things <laughs> changed once that foul power pervaded the world. It really does suck in there, now that I think about it. It was all our- oh. It was all our doing. <laughs> I remember mm. you jerks from the flashback. We overestimated our abilities as sages and attempted to put an end to Ganondorf's evil magic. <laughs> I hope you can find it in yourself to forgive our carelessness. Oh, oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Life has been a dream these past couple of months. <laughs> we just doomed the world, that's all. Oh, Twilight Princess. <gasps> uh, her? She's a Twilight Princess? Oh, snap. What, really? What a twist. Ooh, I love it! Wow! You thought it was Zelda this I whole time. I was sure it was Zelda. It even says so in the title. It's like, Zelda, Twilight Princess. Yes! But she she ain't. What? So you knew? You ain't even seen nothing yet. Have I not? No. I want to see things. This ain't even the twist, dude. As a ruler who fled her people, I'm hardly qualified to forgive you. But I won't do it. I just won't. Stop! In the name of love. Zant's fucking cool up until the point where he's not. That's a Zant's advance. Oh, Oh, no. Uh, oh, I looked bigger in the cloak for some reason. It's because she was. Oh. He turned oh. her into like a gremlin. Oh. With his tasselly hands. Yeah. That's just one more I said. <laughs> and he was like, you're cut off. And I said, you can't just decide I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I never really thought of what she looked like without the helmet on. She's got weird hair. She's cute. She's got hat hair. <laughs> Put a hat on. Yeah, this will <laughs> perfectly form. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Dragon Buzzy. <laughs> Dang. It's like, stop. <laughs> yeah. You're freaking me out. Somebody went a little crazy with the warp tool. <laughs> In our world, we've long believed that the hero would appear as a divine beast. Ooh. Or a dirty, nasty, gross dog thing. <laughs> Or you. Yeah. Could, could, could be you too. That's why I found you. I thought I could use you, Span. Spans. <laughs> and I did. I so used you. Ah, <laughs> wait, is she evil? Yeah, man. And She's I only the Twilight Princess. And I only cared about returning our world to normal. I didn't care what happened to the world of light. Not at all. Oh, bummer. Yeah, right? Jeez. Midna. Well, she does, it's, it's like midnight, you know? Because midna, midnight. Anyway. But after witnessing the selfless lengths that Princess Zelda and you have gone to, your sacrifices. It makes me want to destroy your world even more. Your hot dog dong. <laughs> I now know in the bottom of my heart that I must save this world too. There is no other way. I've definitely seen you red rocket it like four times at least. This is the way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> If we can just defeat Zant, the curse on me will dissolve, and we may be able to revive Zelda. Hell yeah. We should also try to defeat Ronnie Van Zant, former lead singer of Leonard Skinner. Let's go, Speeds, for Zelda, for all of this world. <laughs> and Gus Van Zant. It's kind of like. Yeah. It's like ancillarily related, but. Not a, some people really don't like his movies that much. <laughs> I thought Elephant was very good, but a lot of it was very divisive. Very divisive, but a good movie. Yeah. 
Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got caught <laughs> uh, the Twilight Realm or whatever. Yeah. Nice spot, nice spot, nice spot, nice spot, nice spot. Mmm. Oh. oh. Those guys look like that Donut. meme of the crying guy with the happy face in front of him. <laughs> oh, you know yeah. What I'm about? yeah, he's like really upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, I guess I'm going to the Twilight Realm now. Cool. Oh, whoa, 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 look at that. Whoa. Oh, hello. That's pretty. Suck me. Suck me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> now go from suck to blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? I love it. <laughs> I'm back. That's the Twilight Realm. Ah, the Palaki of Twi'lek. <laughs> Twi'ligged. What are these creatures? I don't know. <laughs> um, listen, Speens, can I ask you one last selfish favor? Uh, you're gonna destroy my world, or? Regardless of what reason my reasons may have been, I once abandoned this world. I left behind the Twi'lek. Those who had followed me, who considered me their ruler. Can you, like, tell them what's up for me? And, <laughs> I don't know, can you ask them if they're still, I don't know, open to it, like, maybe just hooking up once? They Even can... now, as they remain here, <laughs> suffering, they believe that help will come for this world. They considered me their ruler, and now they can't do carpentry. But if, But if they were to see that the only help for them was a hideous little imp, don't you think they'd feel let down? Hey, you're not an imp. It's only for a little bit longer. Do you mind if I continue to hide as your shadow while you're in human form? Yes. I'm sorry. Do you mind if I hide up your butt for a little longer? I know it's weird, I just love it! <laughs> Alright, what are these creatures? Excuse me, creature! Don't talk to them. <laughs> Wait. This guy's in an enemy speeds. <laughs> he looks friendly. Yeah. He a little friendly pot belly. They might look different, but they're inhabitants of this world. They're my people. You've killed thousands of them. <laughs> Zant, how could he... How could he what? I don't know, maybe he put them in this state where, like, they can't communicate. Oh. Oh, they're all different. Well, I guess this one's the same. This one's tall. Yeah. And that <laughs> one's short and fat. They're kind of like when you choose characters in ice hockey. <laughs> For NES. Yeah, a little bit. Ooh, but what if I want here? two tall ones? Then you can have two tall ones. Oh, fantastic. You want three tall ones, four tall ones? Who cares? Get them. <laughs> we should just play ice hockey again. I know. All day, every day. Just forget it, man. Yeah. Just forget Game Grumps. Yeah, sorry, everyone. Just, just turn Game Grumps into an ice hockey channel. We've, we've turned to an ice hockey channel. Yeah. You want it? There's some people- man, I envy the people who, like, just play one game on their channel. Yeah. Man, what a dream. You just get really good at something and then just play it forever. Someone did Happy Wheels for a thousand episodes, right? Yeah, it was Jacksepticeye. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good for him. He did several hundred episodes. What a dream. And, I mean, we did that with Mario Maker. I guess we did. I guess we did. But, you know, times change. People change. Yeah. Butts change. Look out! <laughs> hey, look, it's a Zant head. Oh, oh, now it's gone. That was strange and unnerving. Damn. Zant was here, now he's gone. Hello! He left his name to be carried on. Those who knew him, knew him well. Those who didn't can go to- I don't know. <laughs> can go to where? <laughs> that was what all the kids used to write, like, in graffiti on my school. What? Like, they would write what? Uh... Blank was here, but now he's not. He left his name to be carried on. Those who knew him knew him well. Those who didn't can go to... I don't know. <laughs> they would write, I don't know? Yeah, or, or something. Or H dash dash dash. Like, this is when we were really young kids. Man, comedians, we were not. Yo, that's some funny shit, dude. <laughs> that's some funny shit. I don't dude. know. <laughs> dude, fuck you. That shit's hilarious. Yeah. I will die on this hill. I- I def- have you ever, like, gone back and listened to, like, an mp3 of something that you would die laughing at, and then now you listen to it and you're like, this fucking sucks. Yeah. Or not- But usually it's not, like, as critical as that. Usually it's just kind of like a, wow, humor has moved in a farther direction. Cause most of the time when stuff like that is not- Oh, oh cool. No, it's not Speed, cool. Be careful, the... the black fog. He's responsible, but not all powerful. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, Sorry, I skipped it. Ugh. 
Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh you, yeah, you, critical. You, yeah, usually, usually stuff like that is no longer funny because at one point it was at the very edge of like anything you'd ever heard before. Yeah. Like, wow, like they're cursing. I can't believe this. You know. Yeah, but, definitely. But then like there's like a lot of early new grounds for me. Right. It was like, wow, look at all the blood. And but now like that the envelope has been pushed so far beyond that. It seems tame by comparison. That's true. And then it just doesn't have that. Yeah, I guess that's true. That appealing edge to it. It's like when people talk about like timeless comedy, it's like, well, I guess it's timeless because it's like universal. Yeah. It's like there's a time for everything. Very, it's very difficult to do timeless comedy, because it's usually comedy so tied into the moment. Yeah. That it's in. For me, it was what reminded me of it was um, we were in your car, and by the way, this is not. It doesn't- it doesn't suck, it's just like, it's not- it's not funny to me anymore. Okay. Um... Cause we were in your car, and right when we were getting out, for some reason, like, Spotify put on the United States of whatever. I don't remember that. You, remember, you, you know the United States of whatever? What is that? It's like, do 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 one day I went down to the store and I saw this guy and he was like, and I was like, whatever. Do 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 You never heard that? No. It sounds a little bit like squee. Like that. Oh my god! I'm a little bit of wee. Not squee, wee. With yeah, the squirrel. Yeah, yeah it's kind of yeah, like that. Yeah. Sorry, squee was the Joan and Vasquez. Cartoon. Um, but I was like, I, I, I like re-listened because you know I only heard a clip of it and then I was like, oh yeah, I used to listen to that all the time and fucking loved it. And then I went and listened to it and I was like, yeah, not doing it for me anymore. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it happens. It happens. But it definitely shaped, probably. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's wonderful. Like. I listen back to a lot of those old jerky boys, like the prank calls, you know? And, uh, a lot of it's like, huh, this isn't shocking anymore, you know? Oh, yeah. Did I, ever t I probably told this on- what the fuck? It's a hand. I probably told this on Game Rest before, but like... There's an old MP3 I was obsessed with, it was like Star Wars in 30 seconds or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, doo-doo-doo, clean the drain, I should stay lay out, like, it was like that. Yes. And that was like the total inspiration behind like my entire comedy style for like a decade. Right. It was just like, I was like, I want to do that for me, and then I made Dragon Ball Z in a nutshell, and then... Yes. All the in the nutshells, and then, you know, the awesome series was like also inspired by... How quick the comedy was. Right. Yeah! <laughs> did, I, did you hear, hear his voice? <laughs> Look at this shit! Oh, you ate Chipotle, you shit the bats. <laughs> shit the oh bats. my god! It's a lot of bats that you gotta well, shit. Well, yeah, that's Chipotle, man. It's a, like a burrito filled with- I mean, oh, a pillow yeah. filled with meat. Each one's 2,000 calories. Oh, god, really? I remember a long time ago when my friend discovered that and he was like, What?! And it's like, dude, it's a brick of food. Yeah. And it's owned by McDonald's. Like, it's as dense as it gets. What'd you expect? It wasn't originally owned by McDonald's. Right. They just absorbed it. Oh, goodbye! Oh, oh darn. Oh, 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 the bats. Shit in the bats. Shit in the bats. I was watching this thing that's on Netflix. They have, like, this this show that... Should I, like, hookshot to them, or...? Why not? They have this show where yeah. they, they talk about companies and, like, their, their, like, market value. And then I realized... After I had watched the episode on McDonald's and the episode on Chipotle, that they probably produced this. Oh yeah, they were like, "Here, you want some free content? Just put it on Netflix. Talks about how great our stocks are." Oh sure. Yeah. Take your mind off how gross our food is. Yeah. Absorbed by McDonald's, and that's so their stock is stronger than ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like, God, it's been many years since I read about this, but. I feel like the guy who shut up, quote the unquote, hit. shut up. Okay, the guy who made McDonald's what it was, Ray Kroc. I think he was just a dude, like a business guy that came in and like sort of like snaked the company out from the original burger stand people who owned it. I could be wildly wrong on that though. I mean, I would assume he made so much money that if he owed them anything, they were in a. They were set for life. They gave him a million dollars. Is that right? You never saw the movie? No. The founder? They gave him a million dollars. A million dollars? Yeah, they gave the two brothers, the McDonald brothers, they gave him- he gave him a million dollars. Wow. That was it. Wow. Bought out- bought him out. Oh boy. It's worth slightly more than a million, yeah? What? McDonald's? Oh, McDonald's yeah, franchise? I think so, probably. It, just a little bit. Um... It's iffy. 
Well, it was because it was a promise. He made a promise that he would give them a percentage, and all he did was give them a million dollars. Oh, you made a promise, Mr. Frodo. He, yeah, he never a signed. Promise. Never signed anything. So. Oh man. Yeah. That shining sphere illuminates the world. It's called a Saul. <laughs> it's called a Saul. It's like the sun of your world spins. <laughs> His last name's Goldstein. The power of the Saul is the source of life in this world. It is pure power. You pushed it down the stairs and its glasses fell off. <laughs> and it's very hurt about this. Ah, uh, as long as you have this. He took, my, took, took his Microsoft dinosaur CD and cut him up <laughs> all over his body. Would, would you take this soul to the Tweely at the entrance to this world? Please, Spade. Here, will you pick up my food from Pizza Hut? Would you also do that, Spence? I don't want to have to tip the driver. I have one more teensy weedsy favor. Um, I... Oh, I have to transform into a boy? Then why'd you transform me into a wolf, you freaking freak? What is it, Spence? Huh. Okay. Stupid freaks. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh, it makes the stuff go away. Oh, nice. Wait uh, a second, you stole my ball! Now I'm mad! I'm gonna get my ball now! Here I come! Excuse me, mister! Where's the ball at? <laughs> Don't take the ball! Oh, he's like a wall master. Yeah, he is. So, what, do I have to kill him, or...? <laughs> Should I kill him? I wanna kill him? He wants to take the ball. Let's I'll see what happens him. if I pass under him. Um, okay. Should I wait till he comes down, or...? Let's see. Uh... -huh. Yeah, there he is. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh! Oh! Alright, that's what I gotta do. Got it. Did you- did you actually want to be hitting him with that thing, or just huck it? I don't think it matters. <sighs> oh, I guess I do have to hit him with the <sighs> thing. Oh. oh, or not. No, I think you do have to... Maybe you have to hit him right in the... Right in the hand weenus, where the wrist is. Ah, shit. He's gonna grab that ball. No, he can't have the ball. I want I'm it. gonna transform into a human. Take, don't take the ball. Don't take the ball. Oh, he's incapacitated. Why? I don't know, man. I don't get this boss. Yeah, I don't get him at all. Did she explain? She didn't explain anything. She was just like, the ball is the thing, and you get stuff. The stuff's the ball, and the ball's got the stuff. <laughs> and there's darkness, and he wants the ball back. We can't have the ball. I think I just keep throwing it at him. It seems like it's doing something. Darkness imprisoning me. But I see it. I can only back in the dam. Nice. So, what now? Do I throw tink, it again? Tink, tink. No. Oh, oh. I think he, I think you gotta hit him with the ball in that circle. Do you think so? I don't know. Not positive. No, but I don't know. It's as good a guess as I have right but now. But I'll try it because I trust you, and you're always right in certain situations. Uh. Fudge off, you fudging fudger! Look out, fudge man! <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotta get him in the spot. I'm gonna get him in your spot. Oh, get the spot. Oh, it's not lit up. Spot ain't lighting up. Maybe you have to jump on him and jump down and do that jumpy down stab. I can't do the jumpy down stab, Dan. Really? Did you not learn that? No. I think you have another Zelda game? Yeah, Zelda 2? <laughs> yeah, possibly. That is where I'm mentally stuck. Super Smush Brothers? Oh. We don't talk place. about that. Oh, here. I have to place it here. Oh. Oh. Got it. But then he takes it away. Yes. Drop it, you fool. Haha. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. Oh, do I have to take it with me? I learned something today. Do I have to take it with me? Oh, I might have to take it with me. Oh, man, really? Yeah. How do you know? Well, because there's there's more fog in a different area, and that's like, I don't know, that's the only difference to... Like, I didn't gain anything from going in there, aside from the ball. Mm. So, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I gotta take the ball with me. I gotta take the ball. Yeah, I gotta take the ball gotta with me. Oh wait, I can't take the ball with me because then the the stair would, the stair would go away. This is a pickle. <laughs> well, that don't make no heck any sense. This is a fresh dill pickle. Oh. What? 
I think you know what we need to do now, don't you? We'll get him next time. What do you- what do you mean? I think she means retreat. Does she mean the hand? Yeah, I guess. Fudge it. I'm going in. I'll see what I can make do with in this room, and if it's not something that I can do, then whatever. Then you'll pay dearly for your indiscretions. All of you will pay dearly! No, Never mind, I have to get the ball. Okay. <laughs> I'm a fool, and I was a fool, mm. and I'll always be a fool. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? What is it, Fuzzy Wuzzy? Ah, <laughs> oh, the fuzzy. <laughs> Celebrated <laughs> for his excellence. Celebrated for his wuzzies. <laughs> Wait, how did I make it? Did I hit it? Yes. Oh, yeah. But Pick it up. Mm -hmm. Find a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. I learned it all day long, you'll be a schmuck. What? Can you grapple hook it? Yeah. Ah, you clever girl. Yeah! I am pretty clever, aren't I? See ya. Peace out, bitch. Bazitch. See you later, freak! <laughs> <laughs> we sure do have some good times. You had to drop the soul in the hole, dude. Yeah, well. No comment. Pass. <laughs> Present. <laughs> <laughs> How are we losing it so bad on episode two of this oh, session? Oh man, today's been a day for me at least. Yeah, me too. I've been I've been going through some some times lately. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Well, I'm 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 still broken up about Neil Peart. Um, yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, Neil Peart was the drummer of Rush, my favorite band. Uh, and he died, as of this recording, less than a week ago. Um, and, uh, it is the first time I have- there has ever been a celebrity death where I, like, bawled openly. Wow. Yeah, I, I was- there was some weeping happening at my house. Yeah, I somehow set a sense of that, because the day it happened, I found out, and I immediately texted you, and was like, dude, are you okay? And you were like, dude. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh my man, that fucking sucks. heart, yeah. Well, it's weird, because, like, you know, we- we have the opposite experience, where, oh, I'm coming for you. Spooky. Kind of looks like he's giving you like that Hawaiian like hang loose, baby. <laughs> Come on. Um. Uh. You know, parasocial relationships are strange things. You know, and so being on the other side of it, I can understand. He was a very private guy, so people didn't even know he had brain cancer for like three and a half years. Um, wow. And, yeah, until he died, like, that's when people found out. Um, but he's been fighting it for a long time. And I can understand. I can understand how he would- Oh. Oh. Oh, you're- You're welcome. Yeah, you're nightmarish. Um. It now makes sense mm -hmm. to me, like, how he- why he would want to fight that battle alone and wouldn't want people involved. Oh, yeah. But, jeez, man. Like, it's- so many kinds of weird thoughts you have. Um, when, cause it's like I was telling you, since I was 12 years old, I've listened to that band every day. Yeah. So th there's, there's been no day of my life in the last 28 years that hasn't been in some way touched or, uh, moved by something that he had a hand in creating. So it really felt like losing a family member in a sense. Yeah. And like all these weird thoughts come into your head, like... I, like, well, my first thought was, like, I should have been there for him, you know? Isn't that strange? Yeah, man. For well, I guess when you feel that much connected to somebody. Yeah, like, I can't, like, I can't believe no one told me, you yeah. know, his private health business. It was just very, very strange. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I loved him as much as you can love any person that you've never met in person. Um... And, uh, if there is something after life, I hope it's good, and I hope he's there. Oh, man. Yeah, that's- that's all I got. Is it, but it was incredibly sad. Um... I just, uh... You know, you- you want- you want the people who make the stuff you love to, like, live long, happy lives and be okay. Yeah. 
and the idea that like us, yeah, we'll live forever. Oh no, probably not. <laughs> um, and so to to have someone like him, and I mean, he did live to sixty-seven, which is you know when you compare it to a lot of other musicians <laughs> that that I love, you know, it, it's yeah. it's a long life. But yeah, sure. But it's still leaving a lot on the table, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I just- w I wish... I wish it hadn't gone down like that, for sure. Yeah. Well... I'm sure that... He knew, you know? Oh, he definitely knew, and- and appreciated the fans, even though he was very shy and didn't... Like, do signings and stuff like that. Um, Dude, I get it. They're exhausting. You know, it's like it's always great to see fans, but like it's so much energy. It's so much energy, and um, the way he would always describe it was, uh, it's very hard for an extroverted person to understand an introvert. You know. Yeah. And uh, I, I kind of get that, even though I am pretty naturally extroverted. Um, it's. I, I feel like you're still an introvert. You know, you said that. I I think it's I lean more towards extrovert, but certainly, I need a lot of alone time. Um, I mean, it's probably like fifty five, forty five. Oh yeah. If I, if I had to diagnose myself, at least the way I feel inside. Um, the way I feel. Because a lot of times, like you sort of like go into roles based on your friend groups, you know? Like, my friends back home, when I was growing up, a lot of them, or at least one circle of them, was very introverted. Uh, and as a result, I became, like, the extrovert by default, you know? Um, oh, word. Yeah, because I was like, you know, if, if I don't keep this conversation going, there's gonna be a lot of silence at this table. <laughs> you know? Um... But, that- that being said, like, once- once you do this long enough, and you're in the public eye long enough, at least for me, I just want to withdraw more and more, because your privacy gets so invaded, and like, things you say get twisted and used against you, and you're like, that's not what I meant at all, or what I said, or the way it happened, but like, it- it, it makes you want to- actively say less, you know? Oh, word. Dude, I can relate to that a thousand percent. Yeah. There's, there's always... There's definitely like a... a I feel mystified by the, the, the people, you know, the people who do what we do in public eye, and then, you know, they just want to like share something on social media. I'm like, what's that like? <laughs> like, everything I post on social media has to be like a joke or like, you know, a... a like something that's useful to somebody or like right oh, shit. or or promoting something <laughs> you yeah. know like, like i can't just be like oh i had a great day you know <laughs> yeah i understand so it's because it's, 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 it's like my life like I, I, I should have something yeah, yeah yeah you need to you need to keep certain parts of yourself to yourself it's there's that very famous rush lyric because neil wrote all the lyrics so a lot of the sentiments in the songs are his and, and one of them is the, my favorite song, uh, on this topic by them is called Limelight. And, uh, you know, there's lines in there. Um, I can't pretend a stranger is a long-awaited friend, you know? It's, and, nor should you have to. Yeah. You know? It, it's, it's very understandable. Um, but it's all, it's all about, um... The, the the wish to be rather than the wish to seem. That's the way they put it. Which is like, we're doing this for the love of the music, not because we want to, you know... Be famous? We, yeah, we want more attention drawn to ourselves. Um... And... I think... I think that's one thing that I've definitely, like... changed. I mean, like, every... four or five years... Maybe, maybe longer, maybe seven years. You're almost a completely different person, you know? Um... I shouldn't generalize like that, but like... I can look back... Every, every time I look back 
seven years, let's say, which would now be 2012, 2013. Um, basically, when I joined the show, like I'm like, oh yeah, that's uh, I've changed for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and me, me too. Yeah, yeah, and so I kind of forgot where I was going with that. Um, Dude. I feel that. <laughs> I feel lost in thought right now. Yeah, I'll 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 get it back. Um. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's just that when I was younger, and certainly more insecure, and um, had never had any measure of success, uh, or you know, publicity or anything like that. Yeah. Um. If it felt like success is what you wanted. Yeah, yeah, and it felt like attention was what I wanted. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, you know, after a lifetime of, not a lifetime, but certainly like a young, an early lifetime of being completely ignored by girls and certainly a lifetime of being ignored artistically, you know? Mm -hmm. It felt amazing to, to have that much attention, you know? Um, but then... You know, a real life event happens, and it makes you feel empty. You know, like a dark life event, and it makes you feel empty. And then suddenly you realize, like, oh, this stuff isn't protecting me from any of that. It doesn't stop any bad shit from happening, and it's not like. And and being enveloped in it distances you from the stuff that does help with that kind yes. of stuff. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um. Because suddenly you can be surrounded by people that are using you, essentially. Yeah. Um, so, it, it, as I've gotten older, like, like all that matters to me is, you know, hanging out with my family and my friends and, and going home to Ashley and like, it just, it's a, it's a much simpler life than I thought I wanted. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. I thought I wanted like the huge life where we travel all over the world and like party every night, you know, and there has been elements of that that have been wonderful, but um, certainly not to the degree where like it's changed the, the basis of what makes me happy, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, I think, you know, there's like a there's a sense of like I want to set out because I'm not satisfied here at home, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, why would you want to go back to like being at home, right? But that you're really just setting out to make a new home that's unique to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I yeah. So I mean, his death just brought all that stuff back up to the surface, you know, immediately. Like I found out, and I have this weird thing. I don't know if you have it. Um, whenever I'm faced with some kind of tragedy. Oh wait, maybe maybe this is important in the game. I'll hold that thought. It's just a boss battle. It's just <laughs> a normally as boss battle. Oh, is this kind of the same thing as before? Yeah. Okay. Oh, multiple zants. <sighs> Multi zant. Hmm. <laughs> Like Ronnie Van Zant and his son, the Van Zant that I can't remember. Yeah. Who replaced him in Lenny's game. Deuce Van Zant. Pretty sure it's not Deuce. Well, like Deuce is in two. Oh this yeah. Doubles in it. <laughs> Definitely. Um. Deus ex. Zant Zant. Yeah. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. All I was gonna say was like, um, when I'm faced with some kind of tragedy. My brain goes into this, um, reaction mode where it immediately tries to, like, push the positive at me, you know? Like, um, this is a very weird, heavy example, but I remember, uh, when 9-11 happened, uh, my dad woke me up, and I was looking at the TV, and, uh, I saw, like, the holes in the towers and stuff, and it, I was like, God, that's horrible. It's so bad. But at least the towers are still standing, you know? Like, and then when one tower fell, um, I was like, oh my God, that's horrible. But at least 
the other tower is still standing, you know, and <laughs> yeah. they can rebuild that first one and it'll be okay. Um, and then when the second tower f fell, then I just felt, like, gutted, like, just sick. Um, and, and the same thing happened here, like, as, as soon as I heard he died, like, my brain immediately was like, well, he got to live an incredible life, and he made his mark, and the music will always be there, and he got to live for 67 years, and it, it's weird, but it just, it, 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 it was just some kind of forced reaction thing, um, so, like, when it first happened, I was just in, like, protection mode or something, and then maybe an hour later, like, I finally felt what I was actually feeling, mm -hmm. which was the sadness, yeah. and I it just, I just exploded with tears. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just, like, defense from the sadness. Because I, I, I do, I experience what you're saying, but it's, it's different. It's not, like, a positive, it's a, it's a distance. Whenever something happens that's, like, sad, I'm just like, well, I guess I didn't really care that much about it. Or, you know, like, it's like... Yeah. It's just, the same instinct. Yeah, just trying to distance myself from it and in some way to, to protect from it. It's got to be a survival thing, you know? Because, you know, in the animal kingdom, when, when you're just out there caveman style... And when you're moping. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have time to be sad. Like, if a, if a wolf just ate your friend, you know, you've still got a wolf to deal with. Yeah. It's, it's only afterwards, back at the cave, that you can mourn, you know? Word. Um, so, yeah, it's... What's your cave? <laughs> my bathtub. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cried a lot in the bathtub. Fucking get those lush bath bombs. Yeah. It was a big, big, big week of lavender bubbles and tears <laughs> mingling. <laughs> Hell yeah, lavender's a relaxing agent. It's very nice. Um, so yeah. Stay away from uh, So I, I, I've just been in a weird headspace for the past couple of days. Mm, that's fine. Yeah, as, as I will continue to be. Though, you know, an, another weird thing about being in the public eye is everyone knows I love Rush, you know? And so, I got a huge outpouring of support, um, uh, from people you know, saying, I hope you're doing okay, when in fact, the introvert side of me just wants to be left alone, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though I 100% appreciate the sentiment, you know, that, that people, because people care about us, you know, yeah. in that way. Which is probably the greatest um, compliment I could ever get, like, or I could ever think of, that like, the way Rush makes me feel is the way we make someone else feel. Yeah. That's fucking fabulous. That's pretty, pretty fantastic. Also very hard to believe, you know? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, because you view Rush as, like, this tremendous artist, and then, like, to compare yourself to that is like, well, I'm not worthy of yeah, that. Yeah, I'm just some dick. <laughs> no, it, and not even that, because I'm sure they went through it, too. Like, something about creating something from the inside, like from the first person. Like, you you feel... It just comes from your own thoughts, you know? And you also see and experience the entire process of creating it, as opposed to, like, this finished product which is pre presented to people, and their first experience with it is the finished product. Yeah. So it has, like, this magical quality to it, you know? It's cer certainly none of the stuff we do feels magical, you know? Um, and I, I think they, they were the same way in a sense, um, where like, you know, to them, they have albums that they really are not that into at all. They're like, ugh, that makes me cringe. But I'm like, God, that album changed my freaking life, you know? So it's, it's very, uh, it's very strange to see it from both sides simultaneously. Word. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're saying. Um, you know what actually... Oh, shit. Give me the damn thing. Fuck. What? Fuck. Hold on, I'm just trying to stun him. Oh, that stuns him? Yeah, uh, if I hit him. Ah. Like that. Oh, I'm just wasting time. Okay, you know what, you know what the weird thing... 
the, the weird thing that made me sort of like change my perspective on it or at least understand that a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Nice. Um, Grab it. There is... Oh, shit. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. You fool. Um, there's this... Like, interview or something with like... I don't know, some exec at Netflix or the owner of Netflix or whatever. And they're talking about... Netflix and its competitors, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, they're like, oh, you know, like, your, your competitors, like, like, Hulu and Amazon or whatever, and, and the guy from Netflix is like, no, our competitor is Fortnite. Um, Wait, say that again? Like, they were talking about, like, the Netflix's competitors, yeah. and they were saying it as if, like, Hulu and Amazon were the competitors. Yes. But Netflix was like, no, our competitor is Fortnite. What does he mean by that? Because... When it comes down to it, what a service like Netflix is trying to provide, is, or not provide, but like, from a business perspective, what Netflix is trying to do is, is have your time. The time, yeah. And... That makes sense. You know, it's like, okay, you think of Hulu and Amazon as a, as a service that does the same thing that Netflix does. But, at the end of the day, it's just about how you spend your day. Yeah. Whether you're on Fortnite or you're on Netflix, right? That's so, very interesting. So the reason that I think about that, in what you're talking about, is in terms of like, you know, the art that Neil Peart makes versus the art that you make on Game Grumps. It's still like someone's day, and it's still like an emotional right. attachment to something, regardless of like whether or not it's this fucking crafted piece of music. Versus just like some chuckle yeah. fucks. Like <laughs> yeah. at least they, they they spent like hours of their day with you. Yeah, and enjoying and, it. And appreciating yeah, it. Yeah, enjoying it in a way that we can enjoy it because uh, we are us. Yeah. You know, like it, nothing, nothing that comes out of our own brains is really going to surprise us that much, you know? Because that was the same, I mean it was, That being said, we do crack ourselves up constantly. <laughs> but that was the same experience that I had. Gee, what the hell's happening? I don't know. Looks um, rad, though. Oh, it's a light oh. Master Sword. It's Bray glows with a golden light in the Twilight Realm. With it, you can cut through dark clouds. Um, because that's how I was early on in Game Room, so I didn't appreciate, like, the art of it. I was just kind of like, oh, whatever, just a Let's Play. Amazing, like. the power of the souls has been transferred to your sword. I'm sorry, this just feels like it's, yeah. it's necessary. The guardian deities of my world are on our side, too. <gasps> you really are the chosen one. Speaking a true hero. As long as you have that sword, you should be able to repel the shadows Xanta spread. Santa Claus? <laughs> Zant? Zant Daddy? <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. And I was talking, I guess I was talking more NSP, um, just because it's music. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I, I would say, and it takes a long time. Like, a long time, what? To get to a point where you feel like you're doing good work. Oh, yeah. Um, well, especially if there's like an inherent insecurity there. Yes. It... Because... According to Neil Peart, he didn't think Rush became... Like... What they wanted oh. it to be. Whoops. Until mm. Moving Pictures, which was like their seventh album. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I mean, that being said, like... Those early albums are my favorites, so... It's, it's always from a different perspective, oh, but like, I kind of feel the same way a little bit with the Mystic Crystal. Like, the Mystic Crystal to me is the first time, like, I've felt like this is what I wanted NSP to always be, you know? Mm -hmm. Like this big, great, like comedy prog, you know, like a comedy rush almost. Um, and, and like for me, ah, you gotta make that jump, son. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. Get <laughs> uh, can you make that jump? I gotta... And then jump. Ah. Yeah. Um... Comedy prog. Comedy prog, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's so much that is, like, amazing looking about this game. Yeah, it's a lot it, of bloom. Yeah, it, 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 it's very hypnotizing. Um, oh yeah, for me at least... And I've, I've said this to a bunch of people before, I might have said it on the show. I think especially if you pursue anything in the arts, like... There are obviously huge external hurdles, like... Uh, Ex externals? E externals, you know, like, the fact that no one cares about your dreams, and the fact that you... 
have to break into an industry that a lot of people are breaking into, you know? Yeah. Uh, or trying to break into. Yeah. Um, but I think 90% of the hurdles you'll ever face are internal. Um, yeah, absolutely. And because like the voice in your head that's telling you you can't do shit and giving voice to your doubts and fears and stuff, that, that that's the thing that you really have to destroy and fight against um, if you want to be successful. Because even after you have success, you'll just start feeling imposter syndrome uh, unless you find a way, usually through therapy, to destroy that part of yourself. Yeah. Destroy. Damn, yeah. it's so fucking... So intense. Yeah. I guess you can't ever destroy it, but you can definitely beat it into submission on a daily basis. <laughs> Control it. Yeah, that's what it's about. Uh, I guess I would, I would put it that way. Yeah, because ultimately... Boy, that one dark spot is just like... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'm here. Just like an STD. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> can I... Should I use this? I've heard. I've heard that's what STDs are like. <laughs> <laughs> Can we edit that out? No, I've always been lucky. Got to bag it up, kids. Oh yeah. There's a lot. That Dave Chappelle skit. Uh, there's a lot of different penis sicknesses out there. <laughs> Man. Uh, that's true. Yeah. A lot of illness of the ween. I got. I got scared straight. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Oh, the friends. creatures! Oh, hello! Oh, the creatures! They come to say hi! Who are my little cuties? Oh. And... But, oh. oh. <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hey, maybe we should, uh... Next time on Game Grumps this. Uh, yeah, alright. Do you want to put the thing down first, since... Or do you want to let it be a big old it's, cliffhanger? It's a cliffhanger. Wow, We're gonna exciting. see what happens when I put it down in there. Alright. Next time on Game Grumps. Alright. R.I.P. Neil Peart. I will always love you. Hell yeah. Rock and roll. Goodbye, everybody. Later. I hate it when they get real on episode 70 or so. <laughs> Why can't they just make dick jokes endlessly forever?